Greetings and welcome. 10 subscribers. Wow. This is truly unheralded. I don't even know what that means, and it's probably true. Ah, uh, stuff's falling over. Never at any point might I have guessed that I would ever achieve such a humbling number of people that are aware of this thing that I do. So I would very much like to thank you all for watching and for subscribing and for spending your hard-earned minutes watching me talk about things that you could watch other people talk about. That is very nifty. We've been on the road to 10 subscribers for well over five and a half weeks now. And it begs the question, now that we've reached this, where do we go from here? Is it all downhill? What's the next milestone? How often do we commemorate said milestone? Do we just do a video every time we get 10 more subscribers? Or do we just do it on round, basic, cool sounding numbers like 100, 1000, 10, no, let's just stop right there. Or do we do one that say are, are not so big numbers like 50, 25, question mark? Where do we draw the line? What do we aspire to? What are aspirations? What's, what's the point of life? So here's a thought. Numbers are stupid. Ish. So let's just pick a random one. And when we get to that point, we will celebrate getting to that point. Because what else are we going to do, uh, really? I, I'm running out of ideas for this channel, frankly. Just kidding. I have like 800 in a notes thing on my phone, and I've done none of them. It's more like 20, but still. So let's say 37. Just let's throw a number out there. We're on the road to 37 subscribers, and if or when we get there, what should we do? Should I sit in a chair and spin around and talk about useless things? Should, should we do a giveaway? What should we give away? Nothing? I'm not doing a giveaway, never mind. No. I think, I think we're gonna tank. So on something of a side note here, I have not posted in about three weeks. If you're watching this at the point in which it has been three weeks, that is, since I have posted. But I haven't posted in a minute. And it's fine because no one cares, for one. But also because I will make it up and post a bunch of stuff. See, a lot of you are probably like 8 or 12. I'm 21, so I'm pretty old these days. And with that age comes a slew of just issues, things you have to do that you don't want to do, like suffer. So like last week, I'm just going about my business. Next thing you know, I've pulled my back somehow and it hurts to live. So here I am just sitting around hurting and not filming because my back hurts. Just like your grandpa. That's not okay. But that won't be a problem next week, hopefully. So next week, we'll have a new video. Hopefully. It also occurs to me that nobody knows who I am, really. And that's also fine. It occurs to me that I don't care. I was never intending to have some like dramatic face reveal three years down the line. But I'll probably just, you know, whatever. 
if there's a face reveal at some point, it'll probably just be by accident or because I forgot to care. But for now, I'll stick with this dramatic, dark hood thing that I bought on Amazon for $20 like two years ago to pretend to be emo. It's not even that much pretending, honestly. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. So, yeah. But as long as I already have your attention and I'm wasting your time anyways, I may as well take two minutes-ish, my clock's on the other side, to tell you a tad about myself, perhaps. Just so you're in the know, since you guys are the OGs, the foundation of everything we have here going on and whatnot. So, as some of you may or may not be aware, I exist. So there's that, for one. Um, besides that, really, I don't even know. I have a job, so that's also a contributing factor, detrimentally contributing to the quantity of videos and whatnot that may or may not get published because I'm busy with stuff that's one of the... As I mentioned before, when you reach a certain age. So I work full time at Target, not a Target store. If you're not from the US, you don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's bold of me to assume I even have fans that aren't in the US, for one. But So I work at Target distribution center in a warehouse, basically. So um, what I do is kind of like quality control or inventory control, if you want to call it that. So I'm mostly just, uh, I refer to myself as more of a janitor of stupidity. Basically, I just drive circles around the building on equipment that weighs more than a car and count boxes and fix box counts when other people can't count correctly when they're picking. So that's pretty much in a nutshell what I do. So yeah, that's pretty fascinating. It pays the bills. It By bills, I mean crippling credit card debt. So yeah, there's that too. Um, as I, I don't even know if you can, I probably mentioned it somewhere that I live in Wisconsin. Uh, I'm not really gonna give specific, like I'm not gonna put my address out there, obviously. But if you'd like to send fan mail, that's, you should probably see a therapist, I guess. Um, yeah, generally just southeastern Wisconsin is a good idea of where, if you're familiar with Milwaukee or Waukesha or anywhere like that, um, kind of in that ballpark-ish. I have been in Lego, as you can see in my bio, since like 2004 or something. Um... So yeah, that's a long time. A lot of you probably weren't even alive. I don't even know if I was alive, actually. But, so yeah, I was mostly, like you'll see on this channel, it'll mostly be Star Wars stuff, but I'll probably do, like, some Harry Potter or Marvel or something at some point, too. Um, creator, expert, and ideas are things that I enjoy quite a bit as well. So, probably see some of that whenever I get to it. As far as a Dark Age... I'd say maybe well, I was like 12-ish, 11, 13, somewhere in that ballpark. Kind of just didn't play with toys anymore because I was a big kid now. Man, how that went downhill. But, um, so I'd say I was probably out until maybe 20, well, it's kind of random. Like 2017, I think I bought like a poly bag, but I should make because I was, when I say when I was like 13, that is 2013 and or 12 would have been 2012 so I was out for probably like five years so I think I bought a poly bag and like one Star Wars set like the Naboo Duel or whatever where it's like Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan versus Maul and yeah it, it just felt so dirty it just felt like so wrong but so right and it just went downhill from there uh I think like a year later, like over the next two years, it was pretty fair weather. Like I bought a couple vintage sets, like those little mini, uh, like 
diorama, not even diorama things, but like just the vignettes, I guess, like from 2002, like the Jedi duel ones and the final duel, like with Vader and the Emperor and stuff. So I bought a couple of those like really cheap old sets. And then I'd say towards like 2020, when COVID hit, we were in full swing already. I was just ahead of the curve, basically, me and my brother. But so probably like later in 2019, I started getting more full into it. Like I bought the buildable Yoda and stuff uh, when the helmets came out in early 2020. Like I was all over that stuff. And now it's just spiraled so far out of control that it's absurd my only hope of ever financially recovering from this is if I somehow get accepted into LAN, the Ambassador Network, and they send me free stuff. And of course, there's like that one in a million chance that I'll get monetized too. So subscribe, make a fake account and subscribe again. Yeah, that would be another theoretical way. Otherwise, it's pretty much just a big money pit. But at least I have a reason to live, so that's nifty, too. Um, outside of that, outside of Lego, I don't know if I really want to delve into too much. I'm kind of just rambling already. This video is probably way long. I, this was supposed to be like three minutes, and it's going to be like 12 at least. Ugh. But um, outside of that, uh, I'm not going to delve too much into too much stuff, but i very, very much into music. Um heavier stuff usually. I think I have a bare tooth shirt on. It's probably among the lighter of this stuff. Um, I could list off four or five hundred bands, but you would know like three of them, so I'm not even gonna bother. I also read quite a bit, mostly Star Wars books. I bicycle, that's another cool thing, or just a thing. But soon enough, it'll be biking season again, so it'll be fun to get back out. And uh, yeah, that pretty much uh, wraps that. I mean, I guess as far as living situation, I think I've mentioned before, but I currently live with my mom. Um, that will be changing, hopefully. I know, 21, still here. It's a bummer, but I, I try to earn my keep, more or less. Probably more on the less side, but... I've definitely been saving up. I'd like to buy a house here soon. Um, we'll have a full-on Lego room, and there will be much more content when that happens, too. That's another uh, deterrent from filming as well. Like, I don't like to film while other people are around. I only film while I'm, like, home alone, which isn't super often between my work schedules and everyone else's schedules. So that will open it up quite a bit when that happens. The market is kind of a dumpster fire at the moment, but sooner or later it'll pan out or I'll just get desperate and get an apartment or something just to be gone. So yeah, as you also might have noticed, you probably didn't notice, maybe you noticed because it was so bad before, but I've got this new clip-on mic that you hopefully can't really see. I don't know. Oh, this was clipped to my shoulder at one point, but it must have fallen off, but it's whatever, because no one cares. So, to, to hopefully we'll be playing around with some sound quality a tad. Um, I meant to buy a new light on Amazon to go with the other light I have that I'm not even using at the moment, because this video is just an update, and I didn't feel like producing, really. I don't plan on editing too much, either. I also need tripods and whatnot. I also forgot to mention, I got this new fancy desk. Not fancy at all. It's very simplistic and costs like $60 or something. But I will have yet another new surface to film stuff on. So that's a big plus. I got a light color, so you can probably see stuff better than on my bed here with the blue thing, whatever this is called, that goes on a bed. So that'll also be virtuous, potentially. But point is, we're striving to have some better video quality here in the near future. Because a lot of the ideas, part of the reason I haven't done much is because I have videos that I think will be pretty nifty. But I know that it would be kind of a waste to film them on my phone like I'm using today. Or like, I don't even know where it went. So it, it would just be not good to film a good video and have it suffer due to poor quality. So just a heads up, we're working on that for the near future. I will have a couple videos hopefully out 
by the end of, well, within the next week or so. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, that's really all. I just felt like filming and editing because I haven't done it in three weeks, as I mentioned earlier, slightly, if you were listening to that. So there is that. And uh, yeah, just thanks again to everyone who's made this great whatever this is happen. If it weren't for you guys subscribing, this video wouldn't exist. So if you look at it that way, I think... Yeah. <laughs> uh. So anyways, we will see you guys in the next one, probably... And yeah, cool.